This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today is about a, a little mini reunion I had with a buddy of mine. We had, I, I seen him around town, but we just had a, finally had a chance to connect and go to lunch. And you know, having that opportunity to sit down and talk, you know, you're unencumbered by other events and other people, and just you can just focus and talk. And I hadn't caught with this guy as I shared in, in, in quite a while, and it was such a blessing. And my buddy had, you know. A little while ago, been at a at a meeting where they're they're kind of getting together to talk about strategies and what they're going to do, and and my buddy shared at the end of the meeting it was kind of anticlimactic because one of the leaders stood up and basically said, and and if we do all these things we plan, if we do all these things, you know what's going to mean for us? Bigger bonuses. And my buddy was like, ah, oh, is that what it's all about? You know, and having worked in corporate America and understanding that side of it all too well, you know. That is what makes corporate America go, and, and, and it, 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 it is. It, you see, so often about the dollar, and you know, we're we're going we're gonna to do this to to increase the human, you know, increase comfort in people's lives. You know, <laughs> just things like you know, money and things that are just so fleeting, as opposed to this is what's good for society. So it's, it's, this is what's going to help our fellow brothers and sisters. And again, <laughs> totally being naive and unrealistic, but. It is difficult to hear those things and motivate yourself because money goes away. And I want to share with you out of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, what the Bible says in this instance. And this is an encouragement. We don't know who wrote Hebrews. Many times it was thought Paul, but the studies and, and, and analysis now indicate it most like it wasn't Paul. But nonetheless, the writers of Hebrews says this, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you? Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Again, money isn't the problem. That's not so much money. It's the love of money. It is a root of all kinds of evil. We know that. And again, we need that. We need, we need profits to grow corporations. And, and you know, a lot of that's what America has been you know, progressing on in the world at large. But that love of money, and if money becomes the goal where you know, we're going to go to get that bonus, that's ultimately going to prove fleeting because it will fly away like with wings of eagles. It, it, it'll be gone. It'll mount up in, in eagles and wings will be gone. It's helpful and it's great to plan for retirement. And that's, those are all good and godly principles. But if the bonus or the money is what you're after, you will always come up empty-handed. And again, I thank my buddy for that reminder. In Jesus' name, amen.